بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ثم أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear respected brothers and sisters This is your brother Imam Jalal Abdelwahid from Islamic Society of Tarpon Spring Masjid Ar-Rahman The Islamic calendar It was so important for the Islamic Ummah, for the nation of the Islam, to have their own Islamic calendar. China, they have their own their own calendar. India, same thing as well. And a lot of uh, people of the book, they even they had same thing as well, their own uh, calendar. So Alhamdulillah, how the idea started? Started when at the time of Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him. One of the companions, his name is Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, radiyallahu anhu arda. He sent a message to uh, Umar ibn al-Khattab, and he said to him that there is a lot of messages came to him from Umar ibn al-Khattab, and he did not organize them. He don't know, you know, there is no dates on them. So he don't know how to start, or from where to start, or which one he gonna do first so Umar ibn Khattab may Allah be pleased with him he bring the companions you know in order to take their opinion and he said to them what should we do so they said to him let's start with the of course with the calendar like the, for the Islamic calendar they said to him at the time with the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him alayhi salatu wasalam, when he born the other companion he said no when he passed away to the third one he said no in hijri and when the uh, uh, immigrants from the mecca to the city the other one said no so after that umar ibn khattab radiallahu anhu when he uh, he didn't take his own decision by himself but he asked also uthman ibn affan and ali ibn abi talib May Allah be pleased with both of them, all of them. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. So he asked, he asked them what we should do. They said about the, the, the Hijri, you know, the, 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 the Am al Hijra, the year of the uh, migrants from the immigration, migrants from Mecca to Al Medina. But they said, he said to them, okay, which month, which month we should start? Other companions, they said, let's start from month of Ramadan because it's the month of the Quran. The other people, they said, no, let's start from the from the Dhul Hijjah because the people go to visit uh, Al Kaaba, then after that go to uh, the mountain of Arafah. But end of the day, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, he chose the month of Al Muharram because the month of Al Muharram he is the one of the sacred months, right? So he chose, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wise and very good decision that the Islamic calendar, the year, it's going to be end with the last day of Dhul Hijjah, what is even the sacred month. And to start with the other, other thick sacred month is month of Al Muharram. More than that, it's going to be with the, with the last pillar of the Islam. You know, the five pillars of the Islam, the, the first one is the Shahada. Bear witness that Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah is one with no associate, with no partners, and uh, messenger, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, alayhi salatu wasalam. The second one is performing the salah, prayer. The third one, be your surety, zakah. And the fourth one, fasting Ramadan. And the last one is making the hajj in, you know, to the Kaaba and to the Arafah mountain. Then after that, after they finished, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, after the fifth pillar of the Islam, starting the new calendar for the Islamic Ummah. Jazakumullah khayran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.